What's going on YouTube? What do we have here? A Polish Honor folder. We've had those in the past, but this one is special. Why is this special? Because this is manufactured by Piece of History Firearms in Arizona. For those of you who don't know about Piece of History Firearms in Arizona, Mario, the guy behind it, is one of the premier AK builders in the United States, along with Jim Fuller, uh, Chris Butler, and uh, what's his name? Ted Marshall. He's one of those top guys. So this is a uh, completely matching Polish kit, 1981 dated, original barrel. Mario put it together and did some special stuff with it, like actual Polish selector markings. Pretty cool. We have the C, which stands for full auto in Polish, and P stands for semi-auto. Kind of cool. I don't know exactly what it means. Maybe C is clack, 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 full auto ski, and P is pow, semi-auto ski. I have no idea. I'll have to look that up. Or one of you guys can tell me. But again, this is an all-matching kit. Nodex spud receiver. The package came with an actual Polish magazine. So, hey, why not? Bought this off of a dude on the AK forum who, I don't know why he was selling it, because this is a really nice gun. <laughs> I mean, the wood is just nice. Bakelite's nice. All the numbers match. Again, we have a uh, a uh, real chrome line barrel. Not a U.S. made chrome line barrel. A real Polish one. Came with the Polish bayonet. Brand spanking new itself. The Polish magazine. There we go. Lightly used. On some of the areas, you can see little stamps, like right where my finger is right there. Yeah, I got a Polish stamp. So, the Poles stamp their magazines. Yay! Um, took it out to the range a couple days ago. Didn't get a video because my video phone is acting up like it always does when I want to actually take a video. But it works fine. Put 120 rounds through it, no issues. Um, it's accurate. All in all, it's just a rather nice gun. So next time we get out, We'll take video of it, of his, of, pff, video of it, obviously. Now, something that I think is interesting is the stock on here has the tightest lockup of any underfolder stock I have felt. Period. In fact, let me hand the camera to my camera woman for a second, so I'm going to show you how gloriously tight it is. Recovering the lens. Thank you. All right. So, got it right there. Back up. More. Thank you. Push that sucker in. This thing, it's like, <laughs> it does not want to move. It's insane. But that's good. You want underfolders to be tight. You don't want them to wobble around. So all in all, I think I got a pretty good deal. Thank you to the gentleman on the forum who I bought it from. And we'll get some more videos out. You guys know me, you know my other videos, you know I love honor folders, and this is probably the best one I've had with the exception of the Premier Hungarian. And this thing is as nicely made as that original Premier Hungarian, so I don't feel bad too much about letting that one go. So anyways, that's your AK-74M there, and we'll talk to you guys later. Ta-ta.